Hello guys, good morning to all of you. This is Maggie Raj here, and now I am going to get discuss about the reflection law by Huygens secondary wave theory. Okay, so explanation of reflection law by Huygens wave theory. So let me consider here this is a reflecting surface like z z dash okay here z z dash is a reflecting surface and this ab is a slant wave front where these waves are firing like 1 to these are incident waves okay so let me consider wave 2 reaches at or touch this surface or reflective surface b dash in time t with speed v so b b dash is equals to v t you know that length is equals to speed into time okay and it get reflected in this way so for the same time wave first also reflected because it is also in touch of this reflecting surface at point a at t equals to 0 and whenever it get reflected like this so Let me consider in the same time it will be reaches at any point like a dash. Okay, so a a dash is also equals to v into t because of in the same time and in the same medium length will be equal because speed in same medium will remain same. Like v in both cases because here the reflection takes place and here speed for the same medium is remains same. So this a a dash also is equal to a b and a dash b dash works as a new wave front. Okay, and the waves whatever we emits from it that is the secondary waves. these are the secondary waves and simply these are the wave front this is incident wave front and this is reflecting wave front which attach at right angle okay so write down here z z dash is a reflecting surface where ab is a slant wave front and in which waves 1 and 2 are firing at any instant let me consider wave 2 traveled from b to b dash with speed v in time t so b b dash is equals to v into t speed equals to distance upon time se solve kar dijiye so b b dash is equals to v into t and it get reflected in this way okay wave first it's also at the touch of this reflecting surface at point a and t equals to 0 so hum yahan par comparison kar rahe hain isliye same time is wave ke liye bhi lenge so for the same time of interval wave 1 also reaches at a dash after the reflection so a a dash also equals to v into t because time is same and speed is also remains same in the same medium so a a dash and b b dash both are same so after time t wave first is at a dash and wave second at b dash so meeting a dash and b dash and here a dash b dash works as a new wave front or reflecting wave front so this is incident wave front so this angle is i and this is reflecting wave front so this angle is r and the waves whatever be emits from this a dash b dash or reflecting wave front that's are known as 
secondary waves okay so let me discuss here in triangle abb dash in triangle abb dash and triangle a a dash b dash a a dash b dash okay dekhiyega a a dash equals to b b dash that is equals to b into t same medium hai so in same medium speed remains same okay और कंपेरिजन करना है तो टाइम हम सेम लेंगे तो सेम मीडियम में स्पीड सेम होने की वजह से ये दोनों लेंथ इक्वल है दोनों ही ट्रायंगल में ए बी डैश इक्वल टू ए बी डैश दैट्स ऑल द कॉमन इन बोथ ट्रायंगल ये दोनों में कॉमन है एंगल ए बी बी डैश ये एंगल इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए ए डैश बी डैश That is right angle, so both triangle will be congruent. Okay? देखिएगा ये दोनों इक्वल थी सेम मीडियम स्पीड सेम होने की वजह से ये दोनों में ही कॉमन है और ये दोनों ही एंगल 90 डिग्री है राइट एंगल है सो दिस ट्राइंगल विल बी कॉन्ग्रेंट एंड इन दिस वे इफ दिस ट्राइंगल आर कॉन्ग्रेंट दैन दैन दस बोथ ट्राइंगल विल बी सेकेंड ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एंड That is equals to angle I is equals to angle R. So this is the explanation of reflection by Huygens wave theory.